I need to deconstruct part of the studio in order for me to get this guillotine build done today. I really didn't think about this. It's day three, baby. Welcome back. Welcome to day three of the guillotine build. Uh, also video number two in the three part series where I build a real functioning guillotine. Uh, still funny to me. In this video, we're gonna finish building the entire structure. So everything except for the blade. And then the blade video will be the next video after this. So everything's gonna be done. And all we have to do is measure out the blade and have it machined. Now the reason why I'm working in here today is because Steve's with the inspector and they're checking out the whole building and uh, we don't want any cause any trouble by trying to construct a guillotine in the hallway. Does, uh, does Steve get stressed out when the inspector comes by? Steve, Steve gets a little stressed out when the inspector comes by and for good reason. These guys have just been the worst to him. Um, he's done everything and more than uh, they've asked. One. It's a tactile exit stair down and there's one over there by that stairs off the loading dock. Mm -hmm. And there has to be one, this, just in case that is not big enough. And I purposely- And the one above it. Yeah, well I painted that myself. And if you'll notice, it's extra big. That's six times the normal size of an exit sign. I wouldn't know it, that looks great. Six times that's the size. Bucks. That's that's the, 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 that's even, that's four times. Look at that one. That's a proper That's one? The normal exit. It's like a museum of exits. Yeah, uh, you know what's gonna happen? <laughs> They'll have so much text to read they may not get out in time. Yeah. Yeah, well the problem is is that he, he they once they're done, they then pass it on to the next department. Mm -hmm. And then the next department has its own rules and regulations that are like either repetitive or in contradiction to the rules and regulations of the department before it. Yeah. Uh, I have no choice. No, I swear to God, you have no choice. Have it's like fire like, inspectors, man. It's no. This is building and safety, oh, and this wasn't safety. even. This was last minute. He kind of wandered down here and said, "Hey, I think you need some tactile exit signs." And I said, "It'll be forty dollars." Oh, okay. I just went okay because it, you don't want to go no. Yeah. And obviously the city doesn't care. They're just like, yeah. well, I- Leave it up to our people. Yeah, I did my job. Every time I say something, it gets me into trouble. Well, I'm just dealing with the bureaucracy. I figured, does he get paid for that? I made music like that, but I did it back in 71, 72, and I was inspired by Black Sabbath. I was in sport. What's that guy's name? See, I'm not, so many brain cells are gone from so much LSD. Ozzy Osbourne, that's it. <laughs> you know, when you drop acid 379 times in your life, uh, at least I remember how many times. You, you forget, I mean, my hard drive. I'm an old guy and my hard drive is starting to get full. Not having a bandsaw sucks. I mean, they didn't have bandsaws in 17th century France, right? No, uh, they didn't, but they had sawmills. We pass. Woo! Okay, I just gotta raise the signs up. Those signs that tell everybody to leave, I gotta come back and raise them up. But J Jake, you can open up the... All right. You can open up the door now. Let's do it. The senior building inspector just passed the work. Oh my God. Congratulations, man. That has been a six month nightmare. Woo! Yeah. Jesus. $29,000 later. In, in terms of material, cost, labor, everything. Okay, see you guys later. All right, man. Awesome. Congrats, Steve. This soothing music going on above me. I'm gonna attempt to cut a one inch groove down each of these 12 foot long four by fours and I don't have a bandsaw or any of the other proper tools to do this. So I'm gonna attempt to do it with the tools that I have. 
before I work on the other one, I'm gonna see if I can actually chip out some of the wood here. It's a dull ass chisel, son. Whew. Am I really gonna chisel this out, this whole fucking thing? Oh, I didn't think this through. That is how I want the whole thing to be. Yeah. I need something to shove under here so that I can. Mm -hmm. oh, this is the fucking worst way to do this. How else would you do this though? That's what I don't get. I can run the jigsaw. Hold on. Okay, this is not the right way to do this, Nick. That's a lot of jigging, dude. What if I just drilled? You know, I just asked for the chungus, son. <laughs> you were told to. <gasps> Dude, <laughs> my try. <Ooh. sighs> I'm done. <sighs> that sucked, but it worked. Pick it up in the morning on Monday. Yeah, yeah, we'll pick it up and do this one. Sand this one down. Nice Super 73. Thanks, bro. I don't even know what's going on around here anymore, so. <laughs> it's it's not. Sam! Sam! Hey, uh, what's up, man? Hey, uh, so uh, the book's coming along great. As you can see, there's a lot of typos in here. I am right in the middle of Murder Night. It's a murder mystery where I've been accused of murder. <sighs> I got cornered in the mansion. So real that I have to do a lot of proofreading because if we want to release a book, we can't have any errors in it. I think we're still set for our March release date. Publishing this through Amazon directly. Very, very convenient way to publish and write books, but it's also a very convenient way to get them. So a lot of typos because we had to manually transcribe these games from their original layouts, the, uh, the original books. We'll, we'll, we have them around here, but um, really low quality printing. It's Some of it's hard to read. I saw some comments saying, how can you take this author's work and sell it? We lawfully own the rights to the book. Once again, not a hoax. So the book's coming out soon, and I've got half the book left to proofread. Wish me luck. Yeah, I played Space and Adventure last night. That was fun. Something crazy happened this past week. We launched a sweatshirt, and we sold out in the first few hours of launching it, which is crazy. We weren't expecting that at all. So all of you that bought it have now accidentally created a limited edition merch sale. That's right. Up until this Thursday, we we're going to be taking pre-sales for the sweatshirt, at which point we will go out and we will make more of them based on the number of sales that we get. We are only going to make as many shirts as we get orders. So if you want one, you have to put in an order by this Thursday. Quality takes time because these sweatshirts, we actually went through a multi-week process. It took us about six weeks just to get them made in the first place. If you order a shirt in the pre-sale, expect it around the first two weeks of April. That's when we'll get it out to you. But it's a really nice sweatshirt. Just head over to quarterdigital.store to get one if you want one. This is your last chance. They are great. You will not regret it. I promise you. To all of you that ordered one, thank you so much for supporting us. It really helps us out. And for everyone who didn't order, you'll regret it. <laughs> that was C-Mike's words, not mine. <laughs> right, so I'm back, son. 
All right, son. This is gonna be the very top piece at the tippy top of the whole machine. And then this is gonna be cut at a 45 degree angle here, which is then gonna have four by fours connected to it like this. Basically, this is the last bit of four by four that I have. Well, usually I like to get like an extra eight feet just in case. So I guess I actually measured a little short because I thought I had more than I needed. These are just the best. Two, five, seven. It's important at a late stage of construction to do things slow and to do things one at a time. I've made the mistake in the past of trying to think, oh, I'm gonna improve my efficiency by cutting all this stuff at the same time when I'm in a late stage build. Once I'm like at 90% or, or over, I just start taking things one one step Relax. at a time. Because if you screw up, it takes you way longer. So time all. tips, time Dude. tips with Jake. Let me tell you about a time tip, son. What you know about a time tip? I'm like a time traveler, man. Up, dude. Cause it's Dobians, bitch. But, but you just told me the time tip, son. I measured twice too. I measured three times. All right, this is supposed to sit on the top. Looks nice, right? Yeah, looks great. Well, here's the problem, Nick. It's supposed to be like this. Oh, shit. I need a 39 inch four by four. This thing's not going up today. No guillotine today, guys. Sorry. Really? Man, I'm really disappointed. Wait, what do you mean? Look, don't be losing your head, head just because the guillotine isn't finished yet. Man, every time I try to make a joke, the delivery is just so clunky. That's it. All right. I, I can't, I, I'm not gonna go to Home Depot right now. I'm just no, gonna finish no. this. Dude, I can't believe it. After all of that, off. Oh. Nico, now's your chance for your joke delivery. Look, don't be losing your head, Jake, over this guillotine not being done. Thanks, Nick. Yep. I mean, I could take apart a rail. <laughs> <laughs> the middle one? Yeah, 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 the middle one, sure. Sam and Nico. Yeah. Uh, I need to just quick deconstruct a quick part of the studio that I'll replace on Friday. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> Not clickbait. See how much time this is setting you back? This time it's like... Oh. Ah. Mm. Woo! There has to be 25 inches from here to here. One cut at a time. Dear Doby, we ask that you make this cut true and strong. You know what's nice about the sun shining every day, son? Is that no matter how bad your day gets, the sun gonna shine. This is the, the front right? Yep. Right there. Yeah. And then help me with this end. Alright. Do y'all remember when uh, the Marines raised the American flag on Iwo Jima? That was a great day in American history, and today marks a great day in YouTube history for Corridor Digital. After five days of building, we finally have 
the structure complete. I'm super excited about this. It's been a dream getting here. And now we need to make some small adjustments to get ready for the blade. We'll see how that goes. So in the next video, we're gonna be building the blade, installing the winch, and seeing if we can install the blade itself. And a paint job. And a paint job. And hopefully chopping shit. Hopefully, but I... I think we still have a little bit more to go than we think. Look like a good team to me.